The majority of sports complexes and military bases are below altitudes of concern. Of those that are, they're considered to be in the high altitude category. So in this paper, they categorized altitudes as high, very high, and extreme. And so one example of a sports complex at high altitude is the Denver Broncos football stadium. Another example is Pikes Peak, which is a military base and a lab that is specifically meant to study altitude physiology. Some research uh, that has identified that altitude is a risk factor for individuals with sickle cell trait comes out of the military. They used military recruits with sickle cell trait positive, and these individuals uh, participated in a arm crank exercise test to maximal effort. And they did this below altitude and above altitude. And then they measured the number of sickled cells in venous blood. And so what they found was that below altitude, about 2% of uh, the cells had sickled, but above altitude, 8% had sickled. And it's interesting to note that the sickled cells were recorded in as little as two to five minutes of beginning the arm crank test. Also, one of the recruits had 25% of their sickled uh, of their cells that sickled in the above altitude trial. Uh, a very well-known case of this was a professional football player who was with the Pittsburgh Steelers and he was playing at the Denver Broncos stadium. He was sickle cell trait positive and knew of his status. He played the entire game, um, but started to experience sharp left upper quadrant pain. In the end, he ended up having a splenic infarction and they needed to remove his spleen and gallbladder. During the incident um, or during the recovery process afterwards, he ended up losing 30 pounds and was not able to play again for that season. He did eventually return and had a good career at the NFL, but he never played at Denver again.